Okay, so we're outside with the MV binoculars here from One Leaf, um, and I'm looking across my favourite field where I do a lot of my um, videoing. And we're in daytime mode, and we're at standard one time zoom now. As we know, that this uh, does not have any optical zoom, it's all digital zoom. And at the moment, the rangefinder is indicating at the top of 170 metres to that building, which I know is about right. What I'm going to do now is we're going to digitally zoom in. Um, and of course this is only a digital zoom so we'll go in at the moment six seven eight nine ten times zoom and this is supposed to be a 4k sensor so when you zoom in on digital it's like zooming into a newspaper you get to see all the little dots that make the picture up obviously the better the sensor the bigger the sensor then the less artifacts you're going to get the less graininess you're going to get and that looks quite good at, at zoom 10 um, and let's take it all the way up to zoom 20 20 times zoom um, and you know what that's not too bad at all um, that's quite impressive um, obviously I've got this on a tripod as well uh, to try to reduce this, the camera shake and that lot but that's not too bad at all and we'll just zoom all the way back out again so we're coming out and of course I'm recording this video uh, audio um, through the unit as well so hopefully you can hear that what I am actually going to do is I've got the protective cap where you plug in all of your uh, your SD card. I've actually got that off at the moment and the microphone's underneath it. I'm just gonna pluck that back on again and see whether or not you can hear me. And I'm gonna guess that you probably can't. The same with the MV uh, night sights that you get to attach them to your scope. So I'm gonna take that back off again so you can hear me. It's not a game changer, but it, it's a bit of a shame. And um, we pan around, um, it's very responsive. The, the sensor is very responsive. Um, it is trying to auto um, compensate for exposure at the moment because I have it set to auto and the sun is literally directly in front of me. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty good and that's ranging out now and the rangefinder is roughly the centre of the screen. That's ranging out to 170, 180 yards out to that tree line, which I know is true because I've, I've, I've been on this field multiple times. Um, there's a building out there that I know just get that and it's very you know see if we can just get that sorted out but yeah working out very very well indeed what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to switch it into night mode in the daytime um, so 